what I ate and drank today. It's Friday, October 23rd, and I just wanted to show you guys some meals that I would eat at the end of the week on a Friday when I'm running low and need to go grocery shopping. What leftovers would I choose to stay healthy? So don't diet. Eat more foods that cooperate with your body. Eat less foods that harm your body. For instance, if I ate all of this, I would only have eaten 1,181 calories. This would fight my cravings. I would stay full. You can see all of this food provides nutrients. It has fiber, anti-inflammatory properties. I would definitely be maintaining my weight and not harming my body. So the goal is simply to eat more fruits and vegetables, less processed foods. So you want to eat more foods that are good for your body. Now let's talk about some of the things that I ate today. So remember it's Friday, a lot of the grapes and the good fruit, we've already eaten it. So really I'm trying to make healthy meals out of what we have left over in the house right before I go grocery shopping. So let's see how I did it. This is my first meal of the day. It's 9.20 a.m. I'm having carrots, okra from the garden, purple onions, bell pepper from the garden, and cabbage. I just sauteed everything up in avocado oil with salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, lemon thyme from the garden, cumin, two tablespoons of vinegar. I'm also having cornbread, which I normally wouldn't have, but it's leftover from what the people were eating, so I eat it, and it's absolutely delicious. In the meantime, I drink water whenever I feel thirsty. At 11.30, I finish the rest of the cabbage I had left in the pan. Now it's 3 p.m. The hungriest part of the day for me and I'm going to make some juice. I'm using kale, pineapple, celery, carrots, apples, and ginger. So these are some of the things that I have left over from the week and I'm going to make me a delicious juice that's very filling. I wouldn't lie to you, this juice is really good. I had some juice that I made in the kale video that didn't turn out that great because I use bell peppers and I let you know in the video it's nothing to phone home about it's not that great but it's all right this juice though it's really really good really filling and so I enjoy drinking this type of juice I enjoy getting the nutrients and minerals from the juice it has pineapples in it that adds that sweetness it has the apples that add a sweetness to it that makes it taste delicious this juice has a lot of fruits and vegetables in it. It's very filling, so I knew I wouldn't be able to drink it all. So I drank half of it, and I put the rest in the refrigerator. It's 4.30. I came back for the other half of the juice, and I decided to also take a shot of tequila. I noticed I'm not overdosing on the tequila. I'm just taking one shot, and this is going to help with digestion and good bacteria in my belly. It's really harsh, so I'm washing it down with fruits and vegetable juice. Now it's 6 p.m. and I'm sauteing some vegetables to go on top of two large potatoes. This was so delicious. While eating it, I realized that I was not chewing my food. There's a lot of research on chewing food and the benefits of chewing food and the fact that digestion begins in your mouth when you salivate when you're about to eat. So I realized that I wasn't chewing. I settled down a bit. I started taking smaller bites so that I can enjoy my meal more. And I suggest that to everyone, remember to chew your food. Sometimes when it's really good, it's hard, but you gotta do it. This was my last meal of the day, but I wanna talk about what I would typically eat. Typically, I would have more access to more fruit varieties at the beginning of the week, but I think I did okay. Thanks for watching. Check out some of my other videos if you like this one.